Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Wolf. This is the Art Life video blog, and I am today here with Christopher Hoisington and Robert. He's been on a few times now, and his muse. Not really. <laughs> our roommate. Not really at all. Brittany <laughs> Adler. Adler. Well, the reason I say that is because of this drawing right here. This yeah. is uh, the young Brittany. We showed this drawing before, but and we've, today. We've posted this on our, on our Facebook as well, but Robert do this picture of her and I yeah. think it's a very I don't know it's great it looks I think pretty similar it's a good likeness really good but yeah. I, I can see how he feels about you in it Aww, that's, really nice. <laughs> that's sweet and he's been working a little bit on a, on a tattoo for a me. tattoo for her so. so he's oh, Christopher's gonna show it off yeah. uh, we've shown the progress of that a couple times as well uh, we did ha we did have an interview today, uh, but you know, stuff happens and people don't call back and stuff. Um, so we've had two two no shows in in two days, but we're doing it anyway. So fuck you. <laughs> we're going on. Let the yeah. show continue. Um, ride. Yeah, we don't really care. We are gonna have to confirm a little more, a uh, couple I, days ahead of time. I called. Sure that, I, well, I you know. I messaged Drew this morning at ten thirty. I was like, "Hey, just want to make sure that we're still on tonight for six. I figured that seven and a half hours would be enough time for somebody. And I don't like we don't have well, each other's I, phone numbers. That was the only communication that we'd had and. I know we're just getting started, you know, yeah. and uh, sometimes it seems like, you know, people, it just doesn't seem like it's that important, but, you know, we're very serious about this thing, and this is day 29 right here, Yeah, and well, we're, we're not dicking around. We're going all the way to 2016 with daily videos. We're, we're going so to much do fun. this. So when you get invited to be on this video, know that we're serious about promoting you and your art. Yeah, I mean, we, we plan on having a monthly uh, gallery. Like, the, the fourth effing Friday on January 23rd is only the first fourth effing Friday. And we've committed we plan to do that every month. Yeah, we're going to do that every month. The year of 2015. And the first one is going to be here, and we, we really hope that... Uh, through like donations and stuff and sponsorships that uh soon we can get a, an actual a gallery like a space somewhere and we can represent all of our artists in a, a space that's more well suited for it instead of our home <laughs> but uh that would be really cool yeah it would be really yeah. neat I'm I'm excited. I think it's gonna go. I hit it's, up. It's it's this is this is exciting for me because I get to meet all these people, and I get yeah. to uh, learn about who they are and how they live and and the gene, the guy that uh, oh, Jacob man. talked to on the bus yesterday. Dude, if, if we didn't have that cancellation yesterday, I wouldn't have gotten the two interviews and met the two amazing people that we met yesterday. One of them being Gene Clay, Claycomb. And, you know, I want to encourage anybody who's watching this video to watch that video. This man is as, day 28, as, as interview authentic. number two. Um, he has a really interesting story. He, he pretty much lives homeless at a homeless shelter in Washington. And uh, he saves up money to get a bus ticket to go work somewhere else. Uh, in the summer, and yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah watch the video. I it's mean, it's really it's, crazy. I, but I think I, you know he needs he really he needs, needs support. He is an artist. Some he, support. He, he shared with us artwork, and he you can order artwork from him. So he's not asking for any handouts. No, all he's really asking for is cost of um, supplies, which I, I believe he supplies a receipt for that. And then whatever you're willing to give him is what he said. He's like, whatever you want to bless me with is the way he phrased it. And the man is, he's, he's, he's very he's genuine. The, the most genuine Christian I've ever seen on video ever. I mean, of all the Christians that I've witnessed 
profess their Christianity the way that he did it and the and just who he is. He really moved me. He moved it. me I and else to say it. I, I mean I told him that I wasn't a Christian, but I didn't tell him that I was a, a, a like declared Satanist. And like I didn't want to like be like, you know, hail Satan, fuck God or whatever. But I, I, t I was really up front and he was still really cool with me, really genuine, like really, like really impressed me as a human being. Good person. I know. And he's really humble. And he's, he's having a hard time. So he could he's, use all the support he could get. I think he's older than Christopher and he's living pretty much homeless. Oh, he's easily old, older than me. Yeah. yeah. Um, so but, yeah, check that out and and whatever you guys can do would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, the other person that we met yesterday was Charlie, uh, Charlie Herbert, and what? Really humble. Re what a cool Most guy. Humble soul I've ever met. Um, he, he, alluded to the fact that he was a writer and that he didn't really play guitar much. We we saw him play a song yesterday, uh, but. He, he's working on a book. Um, he's writing lyrics. He writes poetry that he puts on stickers and puts on his guitar. Um, he's traveling to write the book, he said. I yeah. said, are you traveling to write the book? And he said, yeah, I guess I guess that's how it works. It's modern, <laughs> modern day Jack yeah. Kerouac. Yeah, nice. no, but he would never admit that. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I no, said no, that no, he was no, like, no, oh, no, 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 Larry. I'm like, yeah, whatever, kid. He's <laughs> 20. No, but he's... I hope he comes back through. Well, he said he said that he would be here for fourth effing Friday, so I'm gonna try to hold him to that. And then he true. said that the uh, there's a girl that he kind of came out here to meet up with. Um, it was like an an ex girlfriend that he moved away from, and he's hoping to surprise her. It's kind of romantic, but I I hope it goes well for him. I don't know. <laughs> I, hope it goes I, well I, 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 I would be really scared to do something like that. Um, but he's going to live in a, uh, designated, what did they, what did he say? Oh, it was, uh, an intentional community. Intentional, like, and I don't know exactly what that outdoor. means. Tent community? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, um, he said that there's, like, showers a, and stuff there, and. Kind of a messed up time to go into a tent community. Yeah, but I thought it was really cool. He said that it was something that. He he came to the real realization that he needed to do, like it's something that he's always wanted to do. Um, it's really cool. It was it's just really he's, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's I could a ever do four day like bus that ride, well. four day bus ride, and I met him like on his last day. It was really really neat. Um, I loved loved the lyrics of his song. They were really heartfelt about uh, an ex of his too. He was he he called himself a sap and kind of is a sap. <laughs> no, he, he's a romantic and like he's he's the sweetest guy. Like though. Well, I mean, he I'm, really is I'm, a sweet guy. I'm a hopeless romantic too. I was raised on Disney movies and Frank Sinatra. Like oh. I can't help it. I just, how I am. I have no idea what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about romance. I just dream all the time. Yeah. I think I dream too much. I do too, though. Um, Christopher is working on a turtle project. Yeah, I'm calling it Quarantine's Nod because I got the idea for the the uh, I got the idea for the project from Quarantine's Turtle by I want to say Herschel, but that might be his, I don't remember the guy's name. But if you if you Google Quarantine's Turtle, it's the first thing on the it's list. C O R E-N-T-I-N-E-S. E-N-T-I-N-E. Quarantine. Quarantine. Not quarantine. Not, not Q-U. No. I thought quarantine. And no, me no. too. I know she... I was like, Qu the quarant quarantine turtle. I don't know if I'm saying his name either. I don't know if... The, <laughs> I may be, I may be mis mispronouncing his name. I don't know. But it's... I don't know. That's the, that's the project that I modeled. And now I'm going to make a big paper mache turtle. And he's going to weatherproof green. it. And it's pin it really green. Cool. And we're going to put it on this old phone booth out here at uh, 122nd Powell. Christopher we're, is I'm obsessed gonna, with phone booths. And I'm going to, because it's so funny. Phone, I mean, 
the thing's got to be 30 years old, 40 years old. Uh-huh. It's sitting out there with a broken phone. It's still Completely there. Completely useless. It's, st- well, I don't I know. Mean, it's a shelter for, like, no. it's right by the, the bus stop. So maybe people can use it as a shelter when the bus. But I'm going to, I'm going to mount the thing on a piece of, big piece of plywood. And I'm going to put it on top of that phone booth out there at 122nd and Powell. And then and we're we'll going to document the whole thing. And we'll see how long it lasts. And, and every is, time. This is, just replace it. I like this will be one of our social, social art projects. Like the, uh, the, the packages yeah and, yeah the, and the blue the bear project soul feeding and, project and the blue bear project and yeah this is the next step in that i haven't even had time to work on the blue bear project that's i need to go i get, actually dropped three of my packages i yeah. still have one upstairs i need to go get bags i haven't heard anything for, about any of them and i need to make more business cards